Breaking news into first take this morning. After 15 years in the league, LaMarcus Aldridge announced he is retiring from the NBA, writing on social media that he played his last game on April 10th with an irregular heartbeat. Aldridge saying in a statement, quote, though I'm better now, when I felt my heart that night, I was still one of the scariest things I've experienced. I just want to add, he's been previously diagnosed with Wilf Parkinson White syndrome, and he's undergone multiple ablation procedures since the 06-07 season. He'll finish his career with seven all star appearances. And gentlemen, obviously this is surprising news because he just joined the Nets and was looking to get a ring this season. Stephen A., your reaction to LaMarcus Aldridge retiring? Well, certainly when I was critical of these guys not playing in games, particularly last night, I certainly had no idea of an irregular heartbeat. So uh, God bless him and his family. I'm glad that he's safe. I'm glad that he's okay. Um, and clearly he's making the right decision because what he's saying is it's scared the living hell out of him in terms of, you know, how his heart was pumping the other night. And, it you know, it, with the irregularity that obviously uh, he's alluding to, it scared him so much that that's not something he wants to experience again. And usually uh, when people are feeling that way, particularly as it pertains to the heart, they usually equate it with having a near-death experience. And so he talked about putting his family first now. Uh, as opposed to basketball because he spent 15 years putting phys uh, uh, basketball first. I remember his two years in Portland from 2013 to 2015. Obviously, he spent a lot more time than that there, but those two particular years when he was averaging 23 a game, uh, he was big time and considered uh, one of the uh, key ingredients uh, or one of the key guys out there that can make some things happen when he ultimately went to San Antonio. But the game has changed so much. Uh, that obviously is affected his potency because it's a guard-oriented game, and Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and those boys have has just changed the trajectory of the game. Things have changed. So uh, again, he's not what he used to be. We understand it, even though he could still play. Uh, he was a damn good player, and that's what we will remember him as. And he was a good guy as well. I mean, you didn't run across anybody that really had anything negative to say about him as a person. So. You got to give credit where credit is due. Not that that matters because sometimes people lie and things of that nature, um, you know, and they excoriate folks that don't deserve to be excoriated. But in his case, you're not going to find anybody doing that. He was well-respected and well-liked throughout the league. So I'm just glad he's safe and sound um, and, he's, and, he's, and he gets to go on with his life and look forward to his life after basketball. I'm just happy that he's okay. Yeah. Uh, LaMarcus Aldridge, the main thing is that he's not putting himself in extra jeopardy, and that's good. He had an excellent career as an excellent player. Not just a seven-time All-Star, Stephen A. and Molly, two-time uh, All-NBA all second team, three-time All-NBA third team. That's five selections all together, uh, All-NBA for second or third team. And, and you know, that, that's really quite excellent. And the only reason that I hesitate to say he was a great player is really not to do with him as, as much as it has to do with Stephen A, as you mentioned, the, the game changing during his career. LaMarcus Aldridge would have been even better in almost any other era. Even in this one, he was totally excellent, seven-time All-Star. Um, but in any other one, he'd have been even better. And... Uh, it's, it, it's a shame that a guy who didn't get to win a championship was on a team where, if healthy, um, probably would have gotten his ring this year, um, but obviously uh, has a, a serious condition that he needs to pay attention to. And, and as you said, Stephen A., wish the best to LaMarcus Aldridge and his family. And the good news is he, he made this decision instead of further jeopardizing his health, good for him, and it was a tremendous career. Yep, all the best to uh, him and his family. And he said the end of the statement, you never know when something is going to end, so make sure you enjoy it to the fullest. I think we've all learned that this year, and, and he certainly did. He had an incredible career. And putting health and family first seems to be the right decision, and he's just 35. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.